Today on Destination Nostalgia, we are taking a deep dive to our recently updated descriptions and titles for the speculative Dolby console. Are you nostalgic enough to join us to our creative journey? Why don't you come aboard and find out together, shall we? The list begins with 15 potential development teams via top selected cities around the world that brought our favorite aspects based upon previous gaming experiences. The rest reveals up to 1500 speculative titles with various ways of playing the game and which development team fits best within. Just be aware that this list is incomplete and some titles may subject to change in the future. Please feel free to pause the video if you need a better view of the following titles, or if any of them spark your interest. While viewing, allow me to explain to you my recent discoveries with some highlighted entertainment selections. I have been researching video game titles under the Australian development. The one I felt curious about is Lush Foil Photography Sim, a 3D open world based game where you take certain photographs of ultra realistic locations galore. It is first person based, though without any violent or horrific content, it is relaxing slash captivating with a sense of immersion. Now normally I would accept either the three locations in Australia as far as game development is concerned. Sydney, Melbourne, or Brisbane. As for this indie developer, Matt Newell, he is based in Perth. However, his stunning Unreal 5 engine performance for this game title makes me flexible enough to add him to my choices. There is no release date announced for this game title yet but it could be great to add to my physical PS5 collection for 2024. Furthermore, it will be published by Annapurna Interactive, the same publisher that brought us the Arful Escape. I am a bit made a physical copy for this rare gem, which I do believe they can do that to the Lush Foil Photography Sim game as well. Unless you guys have better ideas for Australian developed games, check out our community tab to see which title you think would fit best for a physical release. The next topic I'd like to talk about is Plush Time Wins, celebrating 10 adventurous years on YouTube. With that special kind of celebration, they are off to yet another world tour like what they have done back in 2019, only this time with more locations around the world, meening fans new or returning. Which, funny enough, I included that as a speculative game title for the Adobe console to relive the memories of going to numerous places and activities with Angel and Crystal, in addition to playing games either in selected arcades or carnivals. And if that weren't enough, I still remember meeting them in real life, in a video linked in the description and a post on Instagram. Check them out anytime. It is like I'm Sparrow the Dragon meeting Crash Bandicoot in one of his game titles, like Crash Team Rumble and Crash Team Racing. Of course, that would be crazy if I meet the dynamic arcade duel again in 2024. And speaking of Spyro the Dragon and Crash Bandicoot, that leads me to my next topic. The fate of the fourth Spyro game. His previous game title, Spyro Reignited Trilogy, was released about six years ago, with over 10 million copies sold throughout the world. Then, in 2019, the spotlight shines back to Crash Bandicoot with Crash Team Racing followed by his fourth game title in 2020 called It's About Time. 
His last game title was produced in the previous year, but can be played in online fashion. Crash Team Rumble Like I said in the Plush Time Wins discussion, Spyro can only be found as a playable character in Crash Team Racing and Rumble. As of today, I've seen more than enough for Crash Bandicoot with his game titles, and wanted to see more of Spyro as a main game. But due to the massive layoffs by Xbox, we received no information for Spyro. And one of the main developers for Crash and Spyro, Toys for Bob, just left Activision and became an indie studio. However, despite many disadvantages, I still believe that the fourth Spyro game will come to reality. Though, with Toys for Bob being independent, they still work closely with Microsoft, with its brand new game title in development using Unreal Engine 5. In addition, it includes hints that it may potentially be the fourth Spyro game. A link of a video by Canadian Guy A will be provided in the description for additional information. In fact, I expected more for Spyro as a video game title for the speculative Dolby console in the future, especially for other franchises already seen and yet to come. You may have already noticed that two titles are missing, because we needed more information for one highlighted franchise. I'll explain after this. At TMP Cyberlink Studios, possibilities are endless. With inspiration from up to 50 different companies slash franchises, we make speculations of intriguing slash family friendly dreams, hopefully to come to reality in the near future. Please help support our channel by giving a like, subscribe, ring the bell icon, and check out our community tab to experience destination nostalgia like never before. We would like to experience more data on the Paw Patrol franchise lot. Their last title, called The Mighty Movie, turned out to be a big success, and Paramount is confident enough to create a brand new sequel already in production, set to release in theaters July 31, 2026. The plot still remains unknown, however which is why we're still waiting for its confirmation before we list it as a game title for the speculative Dolby console. The same plot reason applies for the fourth Spyro game yet to be announced. So only three out of the 1500 titles still remain either unknown or yet to be confirmed for the speculative Dolby console. But back to the Paw Patrol situation, we also wanted to see another game title about them, published by Outright Games. Their previous game title, Paw Patrol World, was a big hit for fans young and old. Last time I reviewed this spectacular game title, I talked about what would have been improved, including an optional difficulty level where it contains more hands-on experiences with each pup's abilities. Like in the My Pup Save Adventure Bay game title, I found it to be more entertaining than just one button function and watching the pups do the rest of the work. However, since it is a kid's game, I let it slide. Though furthermore, I recently noticed that the pup's mouths do not move while they talk during gameplay cutscenes, but only applied to the movie ones. All in all, I would like to see if Outright Games alongside 3D Clouds could make another 3D open world Paw Patrol game title, with these improvements I explained earlier. In addition with locations yet to be discovered, including Adventure City, Dino World, or even Poplantis, 
Pop's reactions while looking around various environments and objects, with dialogue to increase entertainment and curiosity, and additional grunting sound effects when jumping, like it was applied for the Bluey video game title, and allowing Zuma to swim underwater for hidden collectibles galore, except in Poplantis where all playable pups swim while in merpup form. And let's not forget about the two other playable pups, Rex and Liberty. While these key features for the brand new video game title idea would be so wonderful, I would be happy regardless if they make something similar to that, as long as it's being developed by 3D Clouds, and a franchise I feel familiar with. If you made it this far in a video, you're definitely a nostalgic trooper. If you are planning to make a video game list under the speculative Dolby console, what titles come in your mind and want it to bring in fruition? It does not matter what you choose as long as they are family entertainment related. And if you have any other questions or updates, please let us know in the comments section below. As this list is about to close in about a minute, I would like to thank you for your attention and watching this video. We'll see you next time, as we unveil the hidden wonders of Destination Nostalgia.